Hello, one and truly, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, where we're going to be playing the Monarch's Journey Challenge as King Harald Hardrada of Norway to unlock some of the cosmetics in Crusader Kings 3. Uh, so this is a sponsored video, it's sponsored by Paradox, so bear that in mind. But there will be a link down below in the description if you wish to go to the Crusader Kings 2 wiki, and that will take you to the area where you get to check out all the different things about how the Monarch's Journey Challenge works, how to gain points, what they unlock, and also every character you can play as in the Monarch's Journey, and what you have to do for each one of them. We're going to play as King Harold. We're going to quickly do a start game. Because I loaded up earlier just to check all the things that I could do, because I want to be able to just go off the bat, and obviously there's a lot to do straight away. So, first things first, we are going to quickly look at what our objectives are. Harder than steel. Uh, there's no bronze and silver for this, so normally bronze and silver will get you a few points, but this is just straight up gold. Available score, three. Be king of Norway and England, and all their de jure provinces. So there are three de jure provinces that aren't currently in Norway or England, which we need to get. But it's not that hard, especially with the war actually at game start right now between Harald Hardrada, Harald Godwinson, and William the Bastard. A am I allowed to say bastard? It it's swearing, but it sponsor video. It it's it's technically it's a technical term. He's William the Bastard, Duke of Normandy, because uh, he's a bastard. Paradox! Paradox! I'm allowed to say bastard! If, if it's a technical term... Okay, I can say bastard if it's a technical term. Right, okay, so yeah, he's he's a bastard. Um, then there's Hide the Pain, Harold, which is a meme, uh, which you need to do 5, 10, or 15, kill as many members of Harold Godwin's English Dynasty as possible. Now, there are two things. One of which is that any death counts, so like, if they die in your prison, you cause the death. You don't have to, like, directly stab them or anything. Uh, that counts. So you can just imprison them and then, like, execute them or let them die in the oubliette or whatever. And secondly, any member of your dynasty who kills also counts. So we can, like, not be King Harold and it would still count. That one's a little bit tough because there's only 16 Godwins on the map right now. And we need 15 of them to get gold. So what we're probably going to have to do is we're going to have to take them, put them in a pot, grow them with a bit of light, a bit of water, a bit of fertilizer. And then we take some of the, like, the cuttings, we plant them, we let them grow up. And then when we've got 15, we burn them all. So we can do that. Uh, secondly, or thirdly, uh, with an iron fist, revolts crushed. 4, 8, 12. Crush as many revolts as possible. Now, this is annoying because, again, revolts take time to happen. Um, it's more RNG. And also, I think only revolts that happen in your provinces, not ones that start in other people's countries and one are over the border count. So, stuff like peasant revolt, religious revolt. We could maybe put people who are bad at their job in charge of stuff and let them just cause revolts by being terrible. But that one's going to be a lot more like RNG based. It does continue. We don't need to necessarily be Harold Godwin to do it. Uh, not Harold Godwin. Uh, Harold Hardrada. Too many Harolds. Damn it, Harold. Um, but you get the idea. It's going to be a lot more time based. We're probably not doing this actual video, but you get the idea. It's just keep playing. Uh, maybe the same with this because it's going to take time for them to grow up. So we are going to close that. And first up, we're going to ask the King of Iceland if he would like to be a vassal. Which you'll say yes, and Chief Ostmud of Jemtland, if he wants to be a vassal, and he will say yes as well, because they're both de jure vassals of Norway. So that's really, really easy. The other de jure vassal we need, which is a de jure vassal of England, is Cumberland, which is also really, really easy, because Scotland's are really weak. Oh, also, by the way, we have a load of troops down here, which are event troops, which I don't think we pay upkeep on, which are already besieging York, which is just really handy. So, with that done, let's deal with the next problem, which, yeah, let's talk about the Godwin family tree. So, hi there, Harold. This is the Godwin family tree. Now, notice that there's something really interesting, which is that Tossig here is actually my marshal. And he's currently in the country, in my court, doing marshal things. He's at court in my court. We can kill him and his prodigy pretty easily. Uh, which is, you know, useful. But Hakon here will actually come to my court. So we can set him up in the court and we can then, you know, have him married, get him some babies, you know, murder them. Standard CK2 things. Uh, right, that said, let's do the marrying that we need to do with our sons. Because we have two sons 
And three daughters, one of which is married already, so that's four people we need to marry. Prince Magnus, our eldest son. Also not our heir right now, because our heir is elective, and we're currently electing our youngest son, which is a bad idea, because when we get England, they're primogenitor, so they're going to have Magnus. Yeah, we should probably consolidate that. Let's do that. Law, choose successor, Magnus, and then also Magnus, please like me. Here's some money. Here's an honorary title. And some swans, because why not? Uh, right. With that done, Magnus. Oh, by the way, one important thing about Magnus, he's ill. He could potentially die. Arrange marriage. Only adults. I would like to find you someone who has a lot of intrigue. Ooh. Denise. I'm going to call her Dennis. Courtier in Wales. Sure. And you are a princess, so that works great. 17. Nice and young. Great. Let's set that up. And then Olav, we're going to want to marry you off to someone with, I think there's someone I was looking at earlier. Ricarda, Corti in Venice. She's 26, she's a bit older, but this is our second son. It's not as important. Mastermind theologian, and she's lusty, so hopefully going to have a lot of babies. I really want my sons to get with like some nice lusty women and have lots of babies. And this is very problematic talks that you really only get in Crusader Kings 2. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna set you guys up. Uh, she's also really good at learning and diplomacy if we need to use her. So, sure. Minus prestige again. Second son, less worried about that. And then my little daughters who need to oh, that's the one that's married. Get married with some matrilineal marriages. Let's get a intrigue person because we've got terrible intrigue at the moment. Prince of Serbia. Sure. We'll set that up matrilineal, so you'll come join my court. And then the younger daughter. Let's try and get someone who's really good at Marshall. Eric, Prince of Sweden. Sure. Awesome. All right, that done. Let's pick a focus. I'm going to go for theology because it gives us plus one health and temple vassal opinion. And having people like us is going to be the good bit because as much as I want to go for something like hunting, we need the help because people are going to hate us when we finally take over England, because obviously we're not English. So there's going to be a culture penalty and also a recent conqueror penalty. So, I mean, the other one would be going like business and getting city vassal opinion. But also hunting might be really helpful. Uh, we're going to go for theology. We can then use the piety we gain to denounce people and be like, hey, can you excommunicate someone? And health would be handy. We are old, so we're going to go for that. Ambition, I would like to make a friend. Gives us diplomacy. And then I would like to make friends with my son. I would also like to bribe this vassal because you're powerful and hate me. And I would like to be friends with you. And then as I think the final bit, we're going to recruit a court physician and raise all our levies. There we go. Right, let's get all the levies into position. There we go. Right. Fast forward's time. And by fast forward, I mean just the slowest speed possible. Because a lot of stuff's going to kick off now. Right. One marriage. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Got a lot of marriages. Uh, one vassalage. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. We will uh, raise those troops. We will raise your troops. Also, you do not like me very much. Here's a gift. And also an honorary title. You can master a horse. Sure.
Uh, you've joined my court, which means I want to marry you. Not me, personally. Uh, marry you off to someone else. So, let's go for search all. Gender, women, married, no. Diplo range, yes. Adult, yes. And... We won't find someone who's lusty, maybe, for you, just so you can get, like, a, a few babies out of it. Because we want to breed as many Godwins as possible to then murder them all. Like, the murders need to be done. Uh... Which is the way to just filter by, like, traits and just go, hey, I'm looking for a lusty person. There are a few on this list. There's someone in particular I'm looking for, though. Mm. My religion. Was she my religion? Let's look for a lusty my religion. I mean, it doesn't really matter if they're not my religion, if they'll still join. Because then I guess people will hate the babies more if the babies are the wrong religion, and then we might have them murdered more easily, and... Welcome to Crusader Kings. Uh, it's House Lowborn I'm thinking of. I, I looked earlier, that's why I loaded the game up earlier, to be like, right, I'm just making sure... She might not be my religion. Any religion. I think she was 16, though. And she had Lusty, so we can just look through the trait list for Lusty. Lusty. Irina. No, I don't think that's you. You also got way too good stats. I want some with terrible stats, like... Lusty, terrible stats, because I want them to be, like, protected by a really good, powerful mother who's incredible intrigue. I want someone to be protected by a really bored mother who never pays attention to their kids and lets them play near dangerous edges. There we go, Agathy. You're terrible. House Lowborn, yes, perfect. Arrange marriage. Hakon. Right, now let's look at this uh, woman. Uh, I've decided to accept your suggestion that my princess is married. Sweet. She is a dutiful cleric, a gardener, honest, shy, craven, ambitious, and erudite. She's a 17 learning. Holy. Yes, herbal remedies. Erudite herbalist that res resides in a hut in the outskirts of a nearby town. The herbalist named Assay. Seems eager to accept the offer. She's really good, yeah. Bring her in. And in theory, I can get rid of my eight spy master and my eight marshal. Yep, Eric. Theodorus. This is the defense pact against me, which makes sense. Uh, spy master. Have all the things to be my friend. Last thing I want is you to turn against me, so I will religiously convert you. I'm also going to, like, try and be your friend. I'll send a gift to my marshal as well. Okay, that all done. I'm going to start moving troops into boats. Yeah, I realize that we're almost 15 minutes into the video, and I've only really just unpaused. But that's Crusader Kings 2 for you. That's most Paradox games for you. Right. Let me speed up now. And they're married. And you'll convert. Perfect.
And then one last one. And we siege York down. Awesome. Now, we have to be careful with this because we're up against both William and uh, Harold Godwin in a three-way war. We have to make sure that they fight each other and not us. And also that they don't run off to Norway to attack our homeland because that would just be awkward. So, bring the troops down here. Nope, they are, they are doing that. They are doing exactly what I said that I didn't want them to do. Guess we're going to chase them down. Come here. I bet you they're going for some more. Ah, they got there first. I was hoping we could beat them to it. We don't have a good commander either, which is a shame. That's what I get for being a bit rushed here. And they're going to split up and go everywhere, which is just the worst. But uh, it doesn't matter too much. We're going to... Split our galleys up. And bring the galleys back here. And I'm going to use them as basically like recon forces to be able to watch around England for enemies. Uh, we'll have to deal with that later. retreat, doing your thing. I should have made you one army. I should have not tried to be super risky, but I did it, and it didn't work. And that's my fault. Okay. We've got Catterick, which means we're on, what, Scarborough next? Yeah. Oof, they're retreating a long way. gone because they were worried that I was getting a load of vassals. Right. There's a bard mocking this dude, or I could teach him how to deal with his enemy. He's a high intrigue. I shouldn't teach him. I'll just kill the bard who's mocking him. That'll make him a friend, right? So that's William the Bastard. Oh, he was a bit put off, but he thanked me nonetheless. That's William the Bastard, and that's William... No, wait. Yeah, that's William the Bastard. That's also William the Bastard? No, that's that's Harold Godwinson. Yeah. Right, we're going to move down to Leeds. Hello. Raise some troops here. That's very unfortunate of you. Oh, they're fighting down there. That might actually be the end of one side in the war. William the Conqueror is going to win that. Well, he will be William the Conqueror when he's done. Um, I'm going to flip my good army over to here. Oh, you're a craven. I don't want you in charge. No. They won the siege. Oh, no, they're still fighting. I'm making sure that they keep fighting and it's like we're not missing this becoming a war just against one side, because that is a completely different way to fight.
Oh, Count Sigvus uh, tried to assassinate him to make sure I wouldn't discover his plot to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Iceland. Um, I'll expose him immediately. Don't be trying to, like, do that to my dudes, please. I could join your plot. Patient, honest, arbitrary, greedy. Um. Yeah, I will get involved in your plot, but, you know, keep going. I kind of want you to win that one. Oh, did we just kill everyone? Did they not retreat? Wait, they must be retreating. Oh, we just won the siege instantly. I, I thought they'd... Hmm, okay. Um, let's get the boat so you can come over. Oh, no, they did. There we go. Uh, the battle's over. Right. William the Bastard is now William the Conqueror and owns England. This is where we just need to like end this really fast because if they get their army together, uh, it will become much harder. So let's get our extra troops. I'm going to pull back to Leeds and let them come this way. I also want to put my best commanders now in charge. I know they're teleporting across the sea. It's great. Uh, yeah, don't put the Craven in. Yeah, go to Leeds. I'm going to go up to Durham. I'm basically creating just this giant uh, trap that I want to fall into. Your dedication to religious pursuits have been noticed around the realm. Among others, it's quite impressed Bishop Svin of Uvdal, who maintained correspondence with various religious and philosophical matters. Okay, we've become close friends. Sweet. I made a friend! There we go. Uh, create a treasury, become paragon of virtue, become exalted among men. Um, I've got no piety or prestige at the moment. I'm going to create a treasury. Sure. Won't worry about it for now. Right, and I'm deliberately trying to get them to come to York. Yeah, they're just removing the things I've sieged really quick. Ah, damn it! Oh, I think they're going to try and go to the... My land. No, I can't allow that. Are they going to move on to the boats? Yeah, they are. Okay, uh... Do I chase them? I don't think I do. I mean, I probably should, but the problem is it's mountains, so it makes it really hard to actually defend. Um, sorry, to attack. I might be able to beat them there. Let's try this. Uh, cannot embark because not big enough. Right, yes, I forgot about that. You know what? It's going to become a race. I think I can beat you to this. Also, you've got a peasant revolt, mate. Right, because this was recently attacked, it's going to be really easy to just crush it. Done. I need to cr uh, get the top level one. I'll take you on. Now, normally I'd catch the arm before it left, which is actually a big problem for us here. Um, where are you marching to? I don't know what they're planning. Uh, we're going to quickly do the same here.
Yeah, and look at them. Raising all those levies. Hopefully they'll go deal with the revolt. Oh, my usher tells me that my commander has improved significantly. Sweet. And there we go. Up to 50%. What is your plan? You're sieging there. Are you just... What are, what are you doing? I don't know what you're doing. That's fine. I think we'll take stuff in Oxford. You know what? I might actually just split the army up. Uh, I would like to split... Oh, no, not in half. I would like to split off the event spawn troops. And I would like to take the big part and go to Oxford. And then we're just going to go kill you. I think we're just going to do a landing and use our just sheer numbers. Here. I think, yeah, we just use our numbers. I mean, well, we probably shouldn't do that. That's probably lazy. Right, up to 85. Anywhere else? Yeah, here. Ninety-nine. Anywhere else it was recently claimed. I mean, I could just go fight some of your dudes. That would probably do it. Okay. Ooh, hello. Ooh, you're running. Enemy commander slain. The chaos are in the battle of Amdon. My men cornered uh, Al Al Abilado. Abilado. Sure. Oh, we caught you. Sweet. Didn't think we were going to for a moment. Uh, they're fighting each other. That's great. And oh, sieging that down might take a while. I'm gonna go back to York and grab the stuff in York. I'm not taking your offer of peace. Uh, ooh, actually you would surrender. I'm going to wait to see if we actually win this battle, because if we kill him in this battle, it'll save me having to do it myself. It's the same one. Okay. That's a bit of a weird one. Normally, he doesn't run away like that. But it worked for us. Okay, we need to deal with you. So, your heir... I would like to assign a guardian. And I want you to be guardian... Is my wife not a suitable guardian? My wife's in jail. What? Why is she in my jail? What's she in jail for?
Oh, wow. Okay. Sorry, wife. I don't know why you're in jail. Here's some money. Go buy something nice. Anyway, I need you out of jail because I'm going to sign you as guardian for this child. Oh, it might take a day for you to realize that that's a thing. Right. Sign Guardian. Is my wife not a... No, there we go. And then I will throw you into the oubliette. Because I want you to die. My admins limit is just crazy high right now. But we are going to get rid of all our boats and get rid of all our troops, but not our event spawn troops. Which, funnily enough, are still very numerous. Like, actually, really numerous. We're going to continue leading because we're just so good. And then we'll put all of you in place. And then how do we make people like us? Don't click Ask Help Managing Titles. That will ruin everything. Uh, invite man to court. Invite noble. Compose a book. Host a feast. Commission a runestone. Yeah, let's commission a runestone. That seems cool. I was going to go, like, maybe hold a summer fair. There we go. Make the peasants happy. You decide to commission and raise a grand runestone for future generations to gaze upon what should be carved into it. Let it speak of me. My father, my mother, let's talk about me. Brave, just, faith. Uh, let's go with, I was brave. And I think we'll expel the jury. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I was reading search for a smith and I was like, expel the jury? No, we we're going to search for smith. And I would like a deadly weapon to celebrate being king of England. Also, we have like way too many things in our control now, like 24. And some of them are like bishoprics and stuff. So we need to get rid of those. So easy done. We're just going to create a new vassal for that. Same one for that. Done, done, done. I could have got the barony under us, but eh. for now I'll leave it like it is. Uh, what else? What else do I hold? Uh, oh, Oxford. We should get rid of Oxford. Now, I don't really want to assign people from my court because some of the people in my court I definitely want there for a good reason. Um, we will, was it here? Yeah, it was here. And we need to deal with the capital of a few places. We've now got 11 too many, which is getting better. Um, one of the problems we're going to have is that these four, we completely wrecked. Like they're going to have for one year a massive minus modifier, and then for 11 years, another pretty hefty modifier. So we might end up just being a little bit over our defense limit for a little while until we can sort that out. Maybe we can get a quick, like, low centralization law in. Why are all my daughters in prison? Oh, it's because they were in my capital. And they're imprisoned by me. Right. They're in my capital. William the Conqueror took my capital. Imprisoned all my daughters. I took my capital back. They're still technically in prison. Oh, you imprisoned Duke Pal? 
Why did Cute Pal imprison you? That sucks. Okay, on William's death, that might pass from... You need to have a child. Yeah, have a child so that you can keep in the realm. Otherwise, it'll pass out of the realm. That would suck. Uh, right. How many more have I got to get rid of? A fair few. Okay. Barony. County, 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 county. Yeah. Okay, so mostly counties. Uh, we'll get rid of the county down here. Now we're 10, which I believe is, how do I see? Relations, de jure duchies, direct vassals. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, I believe, right? Yeah, there we go. I'm going to make that my capital. Right. We're going to have to start giving stuff away directly to our vassals. Yeah, quite a lot of pissed off vassals right there. Not too bad at the moment. Hmm. Surprisingly, not a lot of unhappy people. Right, who have we got in our court? Um, my Chancellor. You know what? I can just invite a load of people to court. Invite a noble to court. So these four, I'm going to grant landed title. Ronsdal, I think that's the one up here, right? No, that's Fiery. Yeah, there we go. Okay, what other ones do I want to get rid of? Because I really can't keep all of these. Uh, Oxford would probably be one, because that's not part of the Dijon Duchy. Because if we check Dijon Duchy, yeah, not part of it. Uh, so let us go with... Uh, you! County of Oxford. Then... Wilkshire. Oh, not that one. Okay, you. I would like to grant landed title. Wilkshire. Done. Right, I'm seven out of four. I can get that up to five. So I'm thinking... Sunmor, even though it's the capital. It's been a bit wrecked recently. It is pretty small as well. Um, oh, Grand Lander title. Ah, Grand Lander title. Send more. 
Okay, I'm down to six, which is probably acceptable. And people are forming a defense pact against me. Sure. That's fine. Mm, yeah, I can keep my defense just a little too big for now. Now, I would also like to double check. King Norway, Manx is still going to win. Great. I would then make England my primary title. And then I can make centralization low. Probably should have done this earlier. Everyone will vote for that. That'll increase my defense limit again. Uh, show me a gift of friendship. Ooh. Uh, that's rough. I'm going to hold off on spending money right now. I'm a little bit low. Jester performed, ran around with silly hats. Everyone laughed at his jokes. All right, Scotland. Hello. Yeah, I can win that. Declare war. Jure claim on Cumbria. Jure claim on Cumberland. Okay, let's do this. There we go. My limit went up. Mummers! Oh no, look at revolt risk. Piety. Hatred. Can't wait to get gregarious. Um, I'm tempted for the revolt risk. A slight chance of revolt risk would be quite nice. But I could get gregarious, so I think we have to go for that right now. I'm not going to try for the other one just yet. Oh, that's a lot of defensive packs. Hi, can you... I'll be happy not to attack anyone once I've got this one province. Great fun. Uh, when's feast time? November. my learning to uh, the stone is raised while he lived Harold son of Sigurd and Asta had the stone raised in his own memory even his enemies cannot deny the great courage of Harold those who knew him can swear when faced with danger he was always without fear you leave the stone content in the lodge that many centuries from now when it's painted has long uh, when it's painted as long as it's faded the skulls will be studying these new rune stones in an effort to glean the wisdom of their words oof load of prestige diplomacy general opinion that's pretty good A remarkable weaponsmith residing in Sunmoor. He suggests that I invite the man to my court to see his work for my own. If he manages to impress me, I could order my own custom item made. Hello. You won't get married. Okay, fair enough. Uh, a fine idea. Invite the weaponsmith over. Weaponsmith's craftsmanship will be checked by most knowledgeable attendants to ensure that quality is sufficient. I received him in the throne room. He introduced himself as Master Magna. Uh, do I have anything special in mind? Um, swords are good. Just all troop swords. Yeah, let's go with good swords. A sword, next on the choice. The best quality one you can. That's a whole load of gold. Yeah, I'll need uh, gold to do that. I mean, admittedly, going negative on gold is a good way to get yourself a revolt risk. And these troops might not worry about that. I'm going to raise the levies anyway. 
Um, I'm gonna not worry about you. And I'll get all of you to join in. How many boats do we have? Not enough, apparently. There we go. And I'll say the best craftsmanship sword. Negative wealth. Increasing revolt risk. Deliberately doing that. It's a really dumb idea. Um, okay. Once we've got this, we can start pruning some goblins, I'm hoping. Alright, one down. Ugh. A few more to go. It's going to take a while. Time a little bit more. Siege of Carlisle. Uh, ooh, who is this person? 19. Excellent. Let's get you married. Ooh, give you a quick wife with a load of really good stats. Okay, sure. Oh, House Lowborn is just your Lowborn, not a house. I thought it was a house for a moment. I'm so dumb. Oh, they're actually sieging us up there. I didn't even notice that was us. Whoops. Ooh. Finally, the sword's been completed. My hands are shaking as I open the lid. Add sword. Is, is that... Is it just called sword? Please tell me it's called something more interesting than sword. Uh, where do I see my treasury? Long sword of the Yingling Dynasty. Quality two. It is quality two. Martial plus one, combat skill plus seven, prestige plus 0.5, light plus 10%, heavy plus 5%. Oh, ah, nice. Good work. Oh, I should probably tell my council to go do stuff. Uh, I would like you to collect taxes. In Middlesex, I would like you to... Uh, we don't need to prioritize, do we? Well, research cultural tech, why not? Organize the army? Yeah. And we'll just keep you performing statecraft. That seems wise. <coughs> oh, our spy master died? was murdered on the order of Count Erland of Cantas. What? He likes me. How, you, I can't believe you killed my spy master. He was actually really good at that. Luckily, I've got a mare who's a 17 as well. That's a real shame. I'm going to go for the court. Uh, You know what? I'll put you in. You're five less, but you'll be happy with me. Uh, and then I can also send a gift or something if I. Oh, I don't have money to send a gift. Or an ordinary title. There we go. Yeah, you like me enough now. Right. We're doing well here. Who's not leading troops? Okay. People here are leading troops who I'm pretty sure are lying because they're leading troops somewhere in Sweden and I really don't care.
How many troops have we got on board? Uh, only a few. Subject petitioned me for justice. His daughter is supposedly beaten by Prince Eric while he was their guest, and the father is requesting compensation. The daughter must be lying. Ooh, revolt risk. Ooh. I find evidence of his innocent. We gain the trait arbitrary. Ooh. Imprison him. We get just. Or fine for his crimes. We get a chance to get arbitrary. What is gold? Uh, are you important? You are decent marshal. There's only a chance of just. Oh. Whoops. Well, the event went past because I wasn't in the engine. Um... That's fine. Let's move up and try and get the capital. Okay, keep moving. We're just going to go for the top level provinces. Oh, hello. Tell a lie. We're going to go take them on. Uh, yeah, we've got good people in charge. Yeah, yeah, we're crushing them. I think we just continue to chase them down. Oh, we're apparently going to Ireland now. Oh, uh, congratulations on the daughter. Where are you planning to go to? Here? Yes. Oh, that's a duchy created. We don't have a steward anymore. Although we could have a completely loyal steward here. I'm going to get you in charge because that will be easy to pass laws. When's the next time I can pass a law? Like four years. Yeah, that's important. And let us offer peace, enforce demands, and I believe that's all our Dishur provinces? What are we missing? Where's Dishur Kingdom? Dishur Kingdom. Oh, it might take a day for it to kick in. There we go. Harder than steel. Nice. Okay. Back to realm. Uh, I guess we'll bring the troops down. And we'll just... There we go. Could have got some free troops just lying around. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. Now, we need to go find the Godwinsons. Uh, so, Tossig of Godwin. Release you from prison. Sorry, I need your wife and you making babies. You're lusty. Right, let's look at your tree. I wonder if I can invite to court. But yeah, we can definitely start like trying to murder some of these people. Invite to court? Would not come to court. Probably a good idea. I was planning on murdering you. Uh, Harold. Let's see if we can kill, kill, kill the old king of England, right? He is the old king, so... People are dropping left, right, and center here. 
Uh, I'm not going to apply this to someone who's disloyal. I could put my son on the council. Pal. Oh, Pal likes me. He's terrible, though. That mare. You know what? On you go. Pack it full of my cronies. It's the way to do it. Righteous imprisonment. Okay, what are your plots? I wish I could see the plot in this main in this menu. Fabricate claim, fabricate claim, fabricate claim. Kill Prince Magnus. Right. You. End plot. Yes. Uh, anyone else I want to... No, I'm okay with that. Ah, positive money again. Okay. We're going to hold a feast, make people like me, and all the bastards will be there, except some of them won't. They'll be mad. Okay, you need to get married, but you are nine, so we can give you some time. You just need to have babies. Where were we before that all happened? Oh, yes, my plot. Oh, yeah, you're in jail. Yeah, okay, I can't really target you. You're actually kind of protected because you're in jail right now. Um... Easiest way to find the next person to murder. I could assign a guardian and then have you murdered. Nope. Okay, can I just murder you? Plot to kill. Ooh, no, they do not like me. They're, they are not going to draw my plot. Uh, let's get the acrobats in for the feast. Okay, I wonder who we could maybe kill. Oh, you would come to my court. Awesome. Like, if they'll come to my court, we let them come to the court. Because that way we can get them breeding. If not... Put that over here. Oh, a number of people are a maybe. Spend lavishly on food. I cover the stupid ability of some of the people at court. I deserve to be better at managing my economy. Insult one of them. Befriend one of them. Attempt to emulate. Chance to gain stress, but we do gain a, st uh, a stewardship. You know what? We're old. That's fine. If we die, we die. Right, I would like to send you some money. Send you some money. Oh, Peasant Revolt! Awesome! I need that. Uh, and then I'm going to get the large army not to get involved, because if we don't have them die, that's great. Well, I don't like any of you either. How's that intrigue going? I have to cancel the feast due to the war I'm currently fighting. Damn it! I've invested in a really large feast and everything. Uh, I'm just going to keep sending money to people. Oh no, don't give an artifact. That would be a terrible idea. I don't have money to send. Okay.
Right. Go do your uh, liberation thing. Oh, hello. Another one. Hello. That one might actually be a bit of a problem. Okay. Now, in theory, that also counts as a kill for our uh, whole uprising thing, which, you know, I'm pleased about. Uh, should we get ourselves some boats? Oh, construct a great work. Ooh. I haven't touched that before. I should do that. I don't want the money. Nowhere near the money. Right, just the local boats. That's one peasant revolt down. We've still got another peasant revolt. Uh, yeah, we'll just land our troops now. Please tell me that my heir's having babies. Really? You're 22. Come on. She had like a million babies by now. Oh, hello. Maybe gonna get a kill in here. I'd like to kill a Godwin before the end of the video. Why am I leading this? Okay. Maybe it's a bit too risky now. Success! I will celebrate with beer. Uh, also, there is a pandemic going on, and that is not good. Uh, also, in the game, we'll shut the gate, seal it, and we need a new plot. Um, it's actually going to get kind of hard to find the Godwins. I really should, like, pin someone somewhere. Let's look at claimants. There'll be someone here who's a Godwin. There we go. Um, can I make you a person of interest? I think we're just going to kill someone. Who did we kill last time? Oh, are you married? You are not married. Quickly, get you married to someone. Sophia. A bit too much defenses. Princess of England? Sure. You married, adults only. You. Yes. Right. Where were we murdering people? Oh, yeah. Um, plot to kill. Do it. Do it. No, people don't want to join that. Okay, what about you? Plot to kill. Do it. Uh, still no. Well, if. Iffy. But no. What about you? Still no. People like these folks. Like, this is just... It's not on. I'm not sure if she counts anymore. No, she's House of... Uh, I've tried her before, right? Yeah, well, some people could be spread, not enough. It's 
Still, we're breeding some some people to kill. That's fine. Perfect. Peasant Vault dealt with. And then drop all the levies. Let it tick forward a couple of days. And then we have killed a Godwin. But we haven't crushed a, crushed a revolt. Those revolts don't count. Oh, I guess maybe we need to actually, like, offer peace in forced demands. Does that count? Yes, that did count, that one. There we go. So we have Harder Than Steel, but Hide in Pain and uh, With an Iron Fist are still to go. I think we're going to call it there for the video. It is over an hour, but we were successful. We got the first part done pretty easily, and we're en route to being able to grow ourselves a load of little Godwins that we can then murder. For now, I've been Eric Hope you enjoyed. If you have, like, subscribe, check out the link down below to go check out the wiki, which will take you through to all the Monarch Journey stuff, so you can check that out. Uh, ready for the Crusader Kings 3, so you can unlock a load of the cosmetics. This has been sponsored by Paradox, so thank you to them. But until next time, I've been Eric and stay shiny.